It is a tragedy that has revealed itself before the eyes of millions of people. Peter Jennings managed to get calmer when everything around him was getting more chaotic, which is one reason why he was such a comfort to those who turned to him, for information, for explanation, for perspective. Someone actually reached up and handed me a small piece of the wall that they had chipped away. It's those small moments that make up this extraordinary day. Peter was the consummate reporter and writer, and oh, what a tough editor he was. I have been the at once victim and beneficiary of his pen that seemed to have a razor attached. But as hard driving, as steely as he could be, he also had a great sense of humor. You want to do another in the, in, in, uh, what are you doing? And he also had an emotional side that he tried to, but couldn't always hide. So if you're a parent, you got a kid in some other part of the country, call him up. Today, those who worked most closely with him reflected. He wrote like a dream. You would think that he was reading a script and it was all ad lib. He was an anchor in, in, uh, in every true sense of the word. And those who sometimes were the target of his questions also praised a man of the world who made New York his home. I think the nicest thing you can say about Peter Jennings is he was genuine. He really was a nice guy. Retired Eyewitness News reporter Doug Johnson was one of Jennings' closest friends. His sophisticated and urbane demeanor sometimes hid the fact about how much he cared about people. And I mean people, all people, at all levels of society. There is so much to learn from the life of Peter Charles Jennings. A high school dropout in his native Canada, a dropout so he could be a broadcaster at the age of 17. He was the most voracious of readers. From our ABC studio in New York, Peter Jennings. Up three, queuing. Tornadoes usually kill slightly more than 200 people a year. ABC tapped him to become a news anchor at the too young age of 27. And when he failed, he picked himself up and became a foreign correspondent second to none. Will you release the hostages and when will you release them? His comeback was stunning. In 1983, he took over the anchor chair by himself. Good evening. The fate of Korean Airlines Flight 7 continues to anger. While we can learn from Peter's life, there is much to learn as well from his death of lung cancer. From smoking, Peter smoked much of his adult life, an addictive habit he couldn't completely break. He had quit for years, only to start up again after 9-11. By the time doctors discovered the cancer in early spring, it had spread. Not even Peter Jennings, the strong, disciplined, tough Peter Jennings, could beat it. Although so many of us desperately hoped he would. That's it for now on World News Tonight. Have a good evening. I'm Peter Jennings. Thanks and good night.